Hey guys, so we are on to question 7 and it says that the angle of elevation of the top of the cell phone tower B from the top of cell phone tower A is 30 degrees and the angle of depression of the foot of cell phone tower B from the top of cell phone tower A is 60 degrees. The height of cell phone tower B is 100 meters. The foot of cell phone tower A and the foot of cell phone tower B are on the same horizontal plane. The height of cell phone tower A is, and that's what we need to find out, the height of cell phone tower A. All right. So where do we start? Well, if we have a look over here. If we had to imagine that that carries on, then we have two different triangles, this one and that one over there. So which triangle has info including a um, length and an angle? Well, it's this triangle over here. We're going to start with that one and then it will lead us into the next triangle where we will be able to get the height of tower A. So let's fill in some angles that we can actually um, figure out. So, not to confuse us, let's just take away these lines. And yes, we're looking at actually this triangle over here as the one and then the other one. Okay, I'll show you why I drew those other dotted lines in. And what that was to explain to you that if we have a look over here, this forms what we know as a Z or N shape, which is an alternate angle. And in with an alternate angle in geometry, we know that we know that uh, they are equal. So if that is 60 degrees, this angle over here, then this one over here would also be 60 degrees. And if this entire angle is 90, then what does that leave us with? It leaves us with 30 degrees over here. And if we look at the other triangle, if that is 60, this is 90, then what do we have over here? We also have 30. Why? Because angles of a triangle add up to how much? Adds up to 180 degrees. Okay. So now that we have that, we need to either use sine, cos, or 10 to find out what... Uh, this line over here, we need to find out what uh, the measurement of that is. Why that specific line? It's because it is common to both triangles and can be used in order to find the height of tower A eventually. So, let's see, will we use sine, will we use cos, will we use 10? If I take this 30 degrees over here, And I've got 100 meters, and, I've, and I'm looking for what we will call this length to be x. So, I've got, I've got a, well, let's first find where's the 90 degrees of this triangle. It doesn't actually look like 90, but it is, because it says 60 plus 30. So this is actually the 90 degrees of this triangle, which makes this the opposite and no not the opposite apologies it makes what is the opposite of a 90 degrees it is the hypotenuse it makes then this, the opposite of this angle would be called opposite and then the x is actually the adjacent side so what does this mean if I'm using 30 degrees which would be the easiest? I don't have the opposite. 
I don't have the opposite side. I don't have any value for the opposite. I do have for H and for A. And that will help if we use cos. Okay, so we're going to use cos of, uh, and the degrees there is 30 degrees. So cos of 30 is equal to A over H, adjacent over hypotenuse. So I called it X, hypotenuse is 100. Okay, now I cannot use any calculators to solve, but we do know the special angles triangle. And I always remember that the 60 degrees, 60 is a bigger number, so it's heavier, it goes at the bottom, then the 30 degrees on the top, there's the 90 degree, one is always at the bottom, two is always the hypotenuse or opposite the 90 degrees and not three but root three on the side so what is cos of 30 then cos of 30 we look at the 30 degree uh let's first figure out where what is where exactly that would be the hypotenuse um the opposite in this case would be the one and the root 3 would be the adjacent. We are looking now for what exactly? Adjacent, cos, so adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. So in other words, it's root 3 over 2 is equal to x over 100. So if we had to cross multiply, we would get 100 root 3 is equal to 2x. Therefore, what is 1x? If I divide everything by 2, I would get 50 root 3 is equal to x. So it sounds like a crazy number, but let's replace that x with 50 root 3. Okay, now we are no longer going to need to call this adjacent hypotenuse, opposite adjacent hypotenuse, because we're working in the next triangle. Right, so at least we have one side, and we've got the other angles to work with. So what are we looking for? We're looking for, let's call the question mark, let's call it Y. Okay, right, and are we going to use 30 degrees or, th or 60? Let's see, um, what do we have? We've got a hypotenuse here, because it's opposite the 90 degrees. Um, what else can we use? Well, we need the Y amount and let's see. All right, so we can use sine. Sine of 60 degrees is opposite. Opposite is the Y. Let me just make so we're looking for y but this is the opposite value and yeah so that would be the adjacent but for sine we just you need the opposite which is y and opposite of a hypotenuse hypotenuse is that weird number 50 root 3 okay again we're going to need that trusty special angles triangle Let's take away all the things we used the last time so we can understand for the next time what we need to use. So we're looking for sine of 60 degrees. So now we're working with the 60 degrees. And sine is equal to opposite. So what's the opposite of the 60 degrees? The opposite is the root 3. Opposite over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is opposite this 90 degree, which is the 2. So 
we have sine 60 will be root 3 over 2 equals y over 50 root 3. Let's simplify this. Therefore, and we're going to cross multiply again. Okay, so we've got the 50, then we've got a root 3, and we're going to be timesing another root 3, and this is equal to 2y. Okay, what is root 3 times root 3? It's basically just 3. So 50 times 3 equals to 2y. What is 50 times 3? 150. So what's 1y? One of the y's is 150 divided by 2 is 75. Right. And don't forget it is meters. Are we done yet? Let's see. Why? according to what I labeled it as y is 75 meters and yep we do have an answer like that and it is D and that is the height of cell phone tower A.